This video tells the story of the Miani Project, an exploration of robotics as a medium for kids to express their Jewish identity. Miani was a project of the DevTech Research Group at Tufts University in collaboration with JCDS, Boston's Jewish Community Day School. JCDS is Boston's pluralist Jewish K-8 day school. Its kindergarten class, as their culminating year-end project, put together a show of their work entitled Mi Ani, Hebrew for Who Am I, showcasing their identities through their learning and growth over the year. Mi Ani was part of a broader project called Tangible K, an NSF-funded project to investigate the use of innovative new technology in early education. This project is piloting an innovative programming environment called CHIRP, a hybrid tangible graphical computer language. The kindergarten teachers and students put together a timeline of the year with pictures and drawings of events spanning September to May. The goal was for kids to create a personalized robot representing them that would travel along this timeline, stopping at three points that marked events that were particularly important to them. Kids would use their robots to convey an action or emotion, expressing them at that moment, showing their journey throughout the year. We began by introducing the class to robotics. First, they became familiar with the materials, learning to construct sturdy robots that had all the required parts. Then, they learned to program the robots using the hybrid Chirp interface. Kids had the option of using either graphical icons on a computer or blocks with the same icons to give the robots their commands. In pairs, they completed a series of challenges teaching them the individual commands and how to use these in a correct sequence to reach a goal. As they worked, they learned underlying programming concepts such as loops and parameters. Next, children decorated their robots. Using art materials like markers, paper, plasticine, and popsicle sticks, along with Lego, each child created a platform that would sit on top of their robot, representing their identity in any way they chose. It has my name, it has a JCDS sign, because that's where I go to school. It has a bowl of oatmeal because I like to eat. And it has the Israeli flag. I made a beautiful big bag. And then I like um, Shabbat and Finally, kids moved to programming their robots. In design journals, they planned what their robot would do at each point in the timeline and the sequence of commands they would use to program each action. The design journals encouraged kids to plan a meaningful sequence of actions and stimulated their memories of their plans when programming the robot and testing it out. As kids picked the moments in the year that were meaningful to them or that they especially enjoyed, we saw that many of the programs they created represented them performing an action. This girl, for example, used her robot to show herself participating in her favorite activity, gym. September, on the first day of gym, it shakes. Yeah? yeah? And what's the shaking show? What does that show it's about? Not letting anyone tag it. Oh. At times, kids use the robots to represent not themselves, but a part of themselves. This boy depicted himself sewing a pillow for the Passover Seder by programming his robot to move backwards and forwards, mimicking his hands sewing. What's it showing? It's showing the needle. Sewing the needle for what? For, for, for Pesach. Other children focused not on the action, but on the emotion they experienced okay. at that point in so time. This girl used the, the spin command to represent her excitement at meeting her new teacher for the first time. Here's when I'm really excited to see Athena. Mm. And I can't stop running around because it's like so fun. And some kids combined the two, as this girl did, to show her actions and thoughts on the first day of school. So in... September, um, I was looking for my name, so I turned. Mm -hmm. I put my light on and off because it was bingo. After programming their individual stops along the timeline, kids put their three programs together to form a complete journey. As they worked on their robot's journeys, kids station? underwent a process of trial and error and problem solving when their program didn't work as expected. Kids repeatedly returned to the robot itself or to the program to figure out what went wrong and what changes they needed to make. I went too far! I went too far! One of my programs almost works. 
because I put the wrong number in and it was hard to figure out what the number was. What, what did you use the numbers for? For, for a repeat. This cycle of testing, problem solving, and refining their programs was an integral part of the kids' learning process. It expanded their knowledge and familiarity with the technology and gave them a sense of pride in their work. I tested it and it worked. I wonder what I did It did it? Okay, so we only have to add after December to get it to February? So it's repeat um, three, four words and repeat. On the final presentation day, kids had the opportunity to show their robots to their parents, run their programs, and explain the personal journey it represented. The Miani project provided kids with a new avenue to express their personal experiences and emerging identity. Over the course of the project, the kindergartners demonstrated to us not only their capacity to master a new technology and learn powerful new concepts, but their creativity, their perseverance, and their developing self-concept. The projects that kids created reflected their emerging understanding of themselves as unique individuals and provided a valuable window into their journey of growth, not through an outsider's eyes, but through their own. When you make a mistake, you get the answer from the mistake you made, and you can learn from the mistake. My favorite part was how you use your mind in a way. I was proudest that I finished my robot, and I finished doing such hard work. It felt like a test to me.